And here's the chicken coop I built. It's the chicken Taj Mahal. Got a little covered run for him here. And you can see those two hinges there. They let this whole thing open up. To get inside there for cleaning. And here's my water system. It's a three inch PVC pipe. There's 13 feet of it. 13 feet go around the back up there. Really hard to see. And all the way around to up here. We just fill it right there. So three inch pipe holds about 3.89 gallons per foot. Or no, 0.389 gallons per foot. So with 13 feet, that gives me approximately five gallons of storage capacity. My little rebar latch I made. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. Inside, luckily they just like to put their eggs right there. And this is the feeder I made. Just pull it out, fill it up at the top, and put it back in. Hangs on a couple of hooks. There's our roost. They don't use the bottom one. I just put that there to get them up onto the upper roost. And here is my cool automatic chicken door opener that I just made out of a Cadillac power antenna check this out so the way this works is I have this hooked up to my solar panels that are on the top of the garage and this these wires here are hooked up to the batteries that the solar panels charge <clears throat> and the charge controller turns on my little lights see those little lights over there by the chickens well behind the chickens there's one over here so what it does is it turns on those lights at night and off at dusk off at dawn and so the second wire here is connected to the landscaping lights and that powers this relay that in turn shuts this shuts this door so if you're wondering how I wired it it's positive and negative to your batteries from your batteries your 12 volt source and then to your relay you've got a magnetic actuator on the relay that closes the contacts and so you would wire power to your motor and to one side of the relay and obviously ground to the motor and then from your from your landscaping lights or your timer if you choose to use a timer you would just run positive and negative to the magnetic side of the relay and there's usually a diagram on top of every relay out there and it's there well you can barely see it there it is so you can see point 0.35 and I'm sorry 85 and 86 are the magnetic ones which are these two the red ones and then 87 and 30 are your switch that you're going to close. This one's wondering what the hell are you doing? <laughs> 
anyways guys so that's my fully automated chicken coop stay tuned I'm gonna put some cedar siding on it and nice trim paint all right guys Thank you.